Jesus. What is that? What the f*** is that? You know, it's very rare I actually don't like a YouTube video, which is why when I saw the most recent episode of Meet Arnold, I was really surprised at just how much I didn't like it. At first, I thought I was just being negative until I proceeded to go into the comment section and saw that most people actually, you know, shared my opinion. There's a disclaimer, by the way. This video is not actually meant for you to, you know, go and send hey over to the creator of me, Arnold. And this video is not meant to ruin his reputation or bash him. This is just simply a video where I am expressing the concerns of not only myself, but the fan base as a whole. When you scroll through the comment section, you most likely will see complaints about either the aliens or the sponsorships. And honestly, I can see why people don't like both of these things, and that's what we're going to be getting into. Oh boy, sponsorships. I feel like sponsorships are important nowadays on YouTube, especially with events like the Adpocalypse stripping YouTubers of their main source of revenue, which is of course advertisements. There is definitely a need for sponsors on YouTube nowadays. Now with that being said, I feel like there is both a good and a bad way of doing sponsorships. Example of a good sponsorship would be the Raffi Taffy ASMR with a Stress Cube sponsorship. Stress Cubes are, you know, meant to relieve stress, and that's also what ASMR is meant to do. So it's a very good sponsorship because the sponsor has something to do with the video. And Mr. Beast we did a Battle Royale video with a bunch of YouTubers with an Apex Legends sponsorship. Now, Apex Legends sponsorship on this one was very good because, as you know, Apex Legends is a Battle Royale game. But basically what I'm saying is that you can do a sponsorship in a good way that's going to do the video, or you can do something like the infographic show does and say, this video was sponsored by, insert name here, and then proceed to tell them that you will talk about the sponsor at the end of the video, okay? Then there's the bad way to do sponsors, which is how Mr. Me Arnold here decides to do his sponsorships. They proceed to tell you that their video is sponsored, or make it very obvious that it's a sponsorship, and then proceed to then talk about the sponsor for like the next uh, like minute. I literally think one of the advertisements, which was about uh, Honey, was actually a whole minute long. And keep in mind, this is a four minute video. That means that this guy took a fourth of the video at least to talk about sponsors. That is not a good way to do sponsorships. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is the aliens in the video. Now I'm just going to play you guys a clip real quick, which is just some of the aliens talking. And I think just immediately upon watching this, you will immediately see why people are not liking this video. What are you doing? Hey, snot! I'm looking for where to buy a couple of packs of energy drinks. Now keep in mind, this is not necessarily a channel or show for children. So I think it's pretty obvious why most of the fan base doesn't like the aliens, as they're not necessarily kids. And honestly, the aliens are just kind of annoying. There's not really a better word to describe them. And it really, the aliens just kind of put off the fan base. Like when they when they watch this video, they're re they're put off by the aliens because they're annoying, and so they don't want to watch these videos because they're having to look and watch this thing speak. And I'm sorry, but the green one especially is just really annoying to listen to. Moving beyond just the sponsorships and the annoying aliens, the whole point of the video is for it to be educational. So I've heard some people claim that if you remove all the aliens and the sponsorships, the video is about three seconds long. And I think that that's false. I think it's probably at most 30 seconds long, but that's no better really. Even 30 seconds of a four minute video still is very, probably like an eighth of the video is actually what you promised to talk about in the video. You know, there's a saying, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Now, does that apply to this situation? Not necessarily, but there is something to be said about this situation as far as greed goes. The channel has become essentially at this point a, a shameless cash grab, and that's not good. It went from good content on Riddle, where he talked about, you know, psychology and science and other things and topics similar to that. Then he started to make this me Arnold channel where he can continue to talk about things like science but now it's just kind of turned into this shameless cash grab of sponsors and other things. 
Once again, this video is not meant to harm the creator's reputation or to, for you to send hate over to him. But if you are watching this video, I do recommend that you take what I said today into account when you make your next video. Hopefully you guys beyond that enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe. Do please subscribe. I really appreciate that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So goodbye.